Hi guys, my name is Marcela. Welcome to my channel, My Fonseca. Right now, I'm gonna react to The Haunting of Blind Manor, Season 1, Episode 8. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. If you do, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, check out my Patreon if you guys are interested. And let's just start right now with The Haunting of Blind Manor, Season 1, Episode 8. Oh my god, it's Theo! Two daughters, born at an interval of five years apart. The elder, Viola. The younger, Perdita. With their father in the ground, they faced a dire necessity for marriage. But Viola knew them for what they were. Gluttons. Opportunists. To pillage his wealth via his daughters. I really enjoy no, this. Bly must stay in the family. Led to Viola's invitation to a distant cousin. One Mr. Arthur Lloyd. Viola had made certain to be absent when he arrived. And just as Perdita began to feel the stirrings of a true interest in the young man. What? Viola explained she was late because of a dispute over uncollected rents. Hadn't assumed oh, are they gonna she fight against to keep the books. Because of him. To love, cherish. Till death us depart. And obey. To love, cherish. She's not gonna obey. say they obey. The vicar believed this an innocent omission. It was not. A surprise not to Perdita, who knew her sister better than any. She would wake. Now he's starting to get creepy. She would <laughs> Oh, she's the one that walks every night? After all. Is no, the one that killed everybody, the else. one from the lake? It is you. It is me. It is it us? Oh my god. Change is emergent. By the time one realizes it has arrived, it has already set its teeth. Mm, trouble. Viola had an inordinate love of dress and the very best taste in the world. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. It is not the plague. She has the lung. What does that mean? How long? What, what does that How mean? How long, Doctor? Months. Months at the most. You will treat her. Cure her. I go and prepare a place for you. No. What did you say? Just tell your God that I do not go. Damn. You tell them, sister. You tell this priest and the god he fawns upon. You tell them no. God wants her soul to be pure. He welcomes her heart. God should know better. She is <laughs> as he made her. She says she will not go. She will not. Oh, I kind of like that about them. Nice dance. Jesus. Some in the village would say that death had come for Viola. Nightly, in fact. Denied at the door of Bly Manor. That dark carriage and its driver denied so often, in fact, that it would not venture to Bly Manor again. <coughs> She's gonna be the one that's killing everyone. If he looks at me now and then, it is because he is lonely and he is human. It is because for the last five years, the only husbandly duty he's fulfilled is that of mourning. Think of Isabel. What will she be left with? What memories of you will she carry? Will it be this, this version of you? Because Viola with love, let it be anything else. Damn. I feel like Birgitta right now is kind of right. Just before the sixth year of Viola's living death, she summoned to her room all of the jewels and clothes she had accumulated in her days before the sickness. Oh, she's gonna save it for the kid. I will not be buried in my rings or my dresses. They will be a great inheritance for our daughter. I like that she's saving them for her daughter. Promise me that you will keep them for her. You will keep the key and you will never give it to anyone except our child. Yeah, he's gonna break that. 
because he's gonna be hunting the house. So I'm sure he's gonna break that. The word she's gonna kill her at night and waken as well. The word was mercy. Oh my God! And the word was a lie. Enough. Damn. Such a sad story. Are you gonna open? For in Perdita's eyes, he felt an echo of violence. They were married, as was becoming with great privacy. That perhaps the late Viola may not hear oh. it. Night, I remember the name Violet when the kid clicks that. Clean that. Obtained. It just clicked on me right now. Oh my god. I thought that these exquisite fabrics should awake the commands of a little girl. We have the solution above our heads. It is for Isabel. The manor is for Isabel. It is a promise. An oath. An oath. To Viola. This story turns so much as where it began. Not a good thing. The ghost's gonna show up. <gasps> oh my god. I totally jumped from my chair. Aww. Damn. The night in which Viola would sleep. She's locked on the house. And when they opened, she, she would got out. <gasps> oh. She admitted she was dead. She admitted her daughter was growing without her. But there waited for her at the end of this purgatory a reward in the knowledge that one day the door would open. And one day, Isabel would open her mother's trunk and claim her reward. Both of their rewards. But and it wasn't Isabel day, that they night opened. After night. from here sell the manor and find a quieter life a smaller one made only for the two of them the two of them and also viola at last at least she'd be with them both well she she won't be able to go lives. right a reward for all these years of isolation but arthur had grown a superstitious man and had seen the horror on perdita's lifeless face whatever curse had claimed his second wife he would not risk his daughter to its icy fingers. He's going to train the lake. Else. I didn't expect that. This absolute abandonment. It shattered Viola's heart. Viola would not go. The pull of that next world ignored. She instead made her own gravity. She would walk back to her home, feeling each time that it was a dream. And she'd stare at that empty bed. And Viola would remember. And the remembering itself was injury in you. Damn. Such a sad story. She would sleep and she would forget. Having forgotten, she would wake. Her attention lay only ahead, only on the bed that was her goal and on the daughter she believed each time she woke would be waiting for her there mustn't be in this wing without protection damn the strange phenomenon occurred her gravity it seemed her invented gravity that held her to the grounds that kept her in purgatory it would hold others too and the bed's always on the same place Viola faintly noticed her own attempted at exorcism. All things fade. All things. Flesh, stone, even stars themselves. 
As her memories left her, so too, her face found a child in her daughter's old bed. Must be the child. Oh my sweet. god. She's gonna take Must the child there. He would feed. She could have let her kid. So sad. Oh, it's the kid. That's the one that she killed. So sad. And loneliness. And rage. Her fate Damn. was a nightmare. A fate that befell all trapped to ply. A fate that befell anyone unfortunate enough to step into her habitual path. A fate that befell even those who died of other causes of ply. No hope for the victims of ply. Be they victims of fate or vice of each other. So many goals. How are we gonna have a happy ending on this show? And no hope it would seem for the younger pair. The gravity wave. Is her ghost gonna see her? And finally stepped into the path of her own fate. Oh my god. This episode was so crazy but so amazing. Whew. I love the storyline of the sisters. I loved especially the beginning of the love between the sisters and then it started to get really dark. I still love that but I didn't love, I felt like sad about the ending that they had but it was so interesting, so well done. Every piece together very sold, like they answer all of our questions. I didn't expect to see Theo or Viola there, but I do remember like when I saw the name Viola there in the church, I remember that I saw in the other episode, I was like, wait, the ghost is going to be this Viola because it showed a little bit when Flora was cleaning it. So I thought it was going to be her, but it didn't click to me when they started introducing the Viola until like half the episode until I saw that scene again in the church that I saw the name I was like oh that's that's the viola that I saw writing down but it was such an interesting story such a heartbreaking story a viola story and the sister she took so many years taking care of her and then she killed her I was like what and then she turned like she got like really evil and then her sister got like Viola got payback for that, and I far I felt really bad for Viola at that moment when she was hoping for to see her daughter and it was Perdita that opened there. I was like, oh, so it was very well done. I really enjoyed the story. I my heart break broke a little bit too when I saw the kid that Viola killed that she took to the lake and then we saw it is the kid that Flora was talking to I was like damn such a sad thing I don't know how Danny's gonna get away from Viola I like that they did the surprise with Viola being Teal but like I don't know how she's gonna get away from her I feel like the only way she can get away from her and I be killed is it maybe her ghost helps her if he gets in the way somehow and he helps her getting free from Viola. So sad about all the ghosts being there, being trapped there. And I like how smart Viola was in, in the beginning, how her sister was loyal to her. At the beginning, she was loyal to her. I don't like how things change. Like, not particularly like it is very interesting, but I was hoping for, I wanted a happy ending, but I know it's a ghost story. It's not going to be a happy ending there. It, it was going to always going to be a sad, sad story. So I'm like heartbroken for that. But at the same time, it was so good to watch. And it kept me like so focused on the, everything that was happening. Like I, I feel like I barely breath, barely breathed things in the entire episode. I was just so caught up on everything that was happening, all the explanations and you guys know me, I love period stuff. So I have a whole bunch of romance of period stuff and I really enjoy shows there like that. So it was really interesting to me the time that everything was happening because I saw the clothes, I saw the dances and I saw how they treated her like as a doctor. It was very faithful to what I have in mind that would be at the time. So I thought it was very interesting, very well done. And I just 
I really, really enjoy it. And I just can't wait to watch this next episode. And I hope they keep doing these stories all the time. I want to see more and more seasons because it is pretty good. Like, I, I'm not super uh, uh, horror story fan. I get scared. And you guys probably saw me jump on the show, on this episode. But other than that, like, they do the story so well that I just love it. I completely love it and I completely want to watch more even though if I get scared, like, I don't care. I just, I love it and I want to see more. So this was a, such an amazing episode. I love the show. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I'll see you all next time. And I'm sorry if you heard the kids kind of screaming here. We have a playground right next to my my room. So I try not to... I try to lock it as much as I could, and I try not to record when there when there is not kids around, but they showed up when I was expecting. So I'm sorry for that, and I hope you guys still like my reaction anyway. And it didn't got too loud, the kids or maybe the volume of the episode. I tried to put it a little bit higher so you guys could hear and not hear the kids so much. And hope you guys enjoy 